Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo, and today we'll be taking a look at the Turburant X7 Pro. This scooter has a max speed of 20 miles per hour, a max range of 30 miles, payload up to 275 pounds, it has three speed settings, it also includes cruise control, and equipped with a 350 watt motor. Now I've ridden multiple scooters in my lifetime and the X7 Pro with its 10 inch large tubed pneumatic tires, it gives you a smoother ride and a longer lifespan and allows you to conquer really any road conditions. So I've ridden on sidewalks, I've ridden on the streets, I've ridden on grass as well as gravel. For full disclosure, I am not getting paid for this review. Taburant did send off the scooter for me to give you guys my review and show off some of the specs, some of my thoughts. So if you are in the market for purchasing a scooter, I do highly suggest the Taburant x7 pro i'll be placing the link below the video inside the description out of all the scooters i've ridden and owned and reviewed this one is my favorite in terms of the speed the range and comfort Here you can see those 10 inch large tubed pneumatic tires. Now these ones are the largest tires that I've ever had on a scooter that I've owned. The only things to take a look at is even though you have a comfortable ride, you do want to make sure you don't puncture them and you want to make sure it has enough adequate air. Now the board of which you stand on, this one is wide and it also is very grippy and super comfortable to stand on for long periods of time. So here are the three scooters that I own, one from Segway, you also have one from me, which is the Bird Scooter, as well as the X7 Pro. And you can see here that the X7 Pro is a little bit larger, a little bit taller, the stance is a little bit more wide, the tires are larger, it just has a all around premium feel it feels like a solid construction now it won't fold down as small as the others but it is still compact the larger wheels does make it stand a little bit taller and again it is a bigger scooter in general as for the unboxing itself it's very standard straightforward inside of this large box you will have some of the pieces such as the handlebars to attach then you have the scooter itself as well as a user manual now taking a closer look at that small box, this is where you can see your two handles. These ones just simply screw in. And then you also have your power adapter, the plug, and then as well as that Allen key or the Allen wrench. Now, when you take a look at those handles, you will see a L and R for the left and right. And really the assembly is only attaching your brake and then screwing in the left and right handle bars. Then once you turn this one on, you will have three different modes. You have beginner mode, eco mode, as well as sport mode. Now you will have your two ways of braking. You can press down the fender with your foot or you'd be able to press the brake for the disc brakes. And you can see there that also when you press on the brake, it will also flash. Now talking a little bit about the battery, it is a 36 volt, 10 amp hour lithium ion battery that offers 500 life cycles. I just love how easy it is to detach, reattach, how easy it is to plug in. You can take in the battery into your house. You don't have to take the whole entire scooter in. Now when you're ready to ride and if it's folded, just press down on the fender, lift up the handlebars itself, and then lock it into place. So here we'll get a closer look. All you have to do if you wanted to detach it and put it back into folding mode, you wanna pull down the lever and then attach it over to the fender in the back. Now when you're ready to ride one more time, you'll be able to lift it up. I always push down first, and then once it's inside, I lock it in, and then I just spin the dial to lock it into place. So again, this is the closer look at the fender if you wanted to see what it looks like, if you wanted to put it into place in order for you to uh, carry it or also bring it back up. Now you do have a little LED lamp in the front, so this way you can see if you are riding at night. Also gives you a little bit more visibility to others. And then in the back, you also have a light as well. Now if the light is on or off, it'll always blink when you hit on your brake. Now I'll just head back over inside of the scooter. Let's just ride a little bit more and let's close out the video. Now I do want to give a big thank you to Taburant for sending out the X7 Pro for me just to ride, review, give you guys my thoughts. This thing is super comfortable out of all of the scooters I have. This one is going to be the scooter of choice. It has the faster speeds, the longer range, and more comfortable ride. 